There's a saying, you have to taste the bitter before you know the sweet. A friend and me uh, wrote a song together when I was 19 years, 20 years old when we were running together. It's called the Bitter in the Sweet. And he was the one that came up with that, man. He was the one that says, you gotta taste bitter before you know the sweet. You know, in my last video when I got interrupted, it was a Christian that met me and I, he goes, hi Keith, how are you doing? I looked at him and said, pretty good, how are you? And he goes, um, how's things treating you? And I said, yeah, not too good, how about you? And he, I said, where'd you come from? He looked awfully spliffy and he goes, from church. I said, right over here, where the music's at. I'm going to show it to you next week, probably. No, I go to another church. He said, I told him about my religion, about me not believing the devil. And the devil, because if you look around, lions are killing their own lions. Lions are killing little cubs. You know, it's... The rhinos are doing it, the eagles are killing their own siblings to survive in life. The humans are like the same way. So I don't believe there's a devil. And I told him that. And he goes, he goes, you know what? He goes, I got a nice place. Because I told him, you know, where I'm staying at. If in my last video, you, you, you'll hear everything I said in my last video. So, uh, he goes, I told you I had a shitload of land. I said, yeah. Does you need a place? I said, yes. Because more than welcome to stay up there. Check it out. I like the way Sony covers up the, the volume. So I turned around and said, you asking me that, that I have a place to stay at? And he goes, yeah. I said, you know what, I think, and he, he's a grower too, a farmer. A little secret, he has a, a fish pond, a natural spring going to his place, crawfish in it, lots of crawfish, fresh fish pond, he says fresh fish snapper, fresh water snapper, I said fresh water snapper, he goes you'll like it gringo. So, he said, hey, listen, he goes, I got a friend that owns a taxi, $300 a pe per person. He said, I need to go pick up my things. I need to get away from this place. It'll only take me a couple minutes to grab all my shit and run real fast. He goes, yeah, we'll, we'll stop by and grab your shit. I'll show you where my new place is at. I guess you gotta taste the bitter of Jamaica before you see the sweet side of it. Fresh natural spring. I just said, damn. Electricity, I said, damn. Till next video. <laughs> really, I'm glad to get the fuck away from that other place. It reminds me of that, you know what, I, I turned around and looked at everybody and I said, you know what, I think you're bloodline. You know, I think these other bloodlines around here, I think you guys are from the pirates. Trust me. <laughs> A bunch of fucking thieves. They all looked at me and stared. 
Oh, by the way, the pirates were owned and operated by the Queen of England, if you believe it or not. <laughs>